What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. T Money, nineteen ninety three, coming back with another vid on um, my games of the week. I had I already sent them in, but just letting everybody know my picks. Um, Minnesota against Baltimore. I picked Baltimore. Baltimore is beast mode at home. Minnesota. You never really know what team you're gonna get, and you're not. You never know what kind of quarterback play you're gonna get. Indianapolis at Cincinnati. I picked Cincinnati. Bengals defense is on point, and uh, Indianapolis doesn't have enough weapons right now. The receiving core is in trouble. The running game has been in trouble all year. Cincinnati. Um, Atlanta at Green Bay. I picked Green Bay. Um, Green Bay's at home. Atlanta's struggling. Atlanta's not a good team. Um, Cleveland at New England. I picked New England. Hopefully, Josh Gordon has a big game, though, uh, for my fantasy stuff. But uh, looking at it right now, they're beating New England. Um, Oakland at the Jets. I picked the Jets. Jets at home. I feel like Geno's going to have. It's going to be good, Geno, today. And the Raiders, I can't trust them without Terrell Pryor. Detroit at Philly. I picked Detroit on the road. Uh, it's a snowstorm up there, so I figure that's going to help with. Uh, they have two backs, Bale and Bush. And Calvin Johnson can moss anybody. And Philly secondary is weak. Miami at Pittsburgh. I picked Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh is pretty good at home. Miami, only chance they really have is if that pass rush can get there. Um, Buffalo at Tampa Bay. I picked Tampa because Tampa's at home, and uh, I think Bobby Rainey is going to have a good game against Buffalo. Kansas City at Washington. I picked Kansas City. Um, can't trust an RG3 this year. Tennessee at Denver. I picked Denver. Um, Broncos going to get the win. I don't think Fitzpatrick can keep up with Peyton Manning. St. Louis at Arizona. I think Arizona's going to get the win and try to stay in the wild card race. Um, Cardinals defense is on point. That defense is legit. Giants at San Diego. I think Eli beats his, the team that originally drafted him. And uh, they get the win. Their season's over, though. But I think they can beat San Diego. Only mainly because Justin Tuck has been playing lights out. Seattle at San Francisco. Um, I think in this matchup is pretty much who's at home, so I'm going to San Francisco. Um, in this matchup, whoever's at home pretty much wins. Um, I think Colin Kaepernick plays a pretty good game. I think Frank Gore has a little bit of enough. He has enough success against Seattle's front seven to open up the passes and play action. And I think with Bolden and Crabtree, both because uh, both are healthy, and Vernon Davis, I think that Seattle's beat up secondary can handle it. Panthers at New Orleans, you know, I already got my squad. Panther Nation, stay in the fuck up, bruh. Um, yeah, I just don't, I don't see an edge in any part of the game where New Orleans has it. We have a better defense. We have the better run game. Um, Receiver-wise, I like our receivers better. Tight end, yes, y'all have Jimmy Graham, but we have Greg Olson who can hold his own. And um, Saints O-line has been weak. And then their defense has been looking kind of weak. So, Carolina. Dallas at Chicago. Um, you never know what Dallas team you're going to get. But the Bears defense biggest weakness to me that I've seen is running the ball. And I don't think DeMarco Murray is going to have that much success. So, I'm going to go Chicago and Shawtown to get the win. And it's your boy, Mr. T-Money1993. With my picks of the week, I'm out.